What's going on guys, it's your boy Crypto Mikkel here coming to you today with a unboxing and build video. Guys, we are going to build a Osprey E300 courtesy of uh, our one of our customers here at the facility. He's got a few more of these in and this round we actually get to build these. So in this video we will build out this Osprey E300 and get it up and hashing on the network. Check it out, make sure it's good to go. And then in the next video, we will have a full guide on how to overclock these, um, like full step-by-step -step guide. So that's coming up next. But first, before we ever get to that, we actually, we got to get this thing hashing. So let's uh, unbox this, right? So here in the first box, we actually have the frame as well as the zinc control board, the cables, the fans, uh, basically everything but the hashing boards which are in this box so let's uh yeah now in this box we actually have three of the hashing boards so count of one two and three right here we also got a really cool guide if you want to follow a step-by-step -step instruction of a uh, full-on guide of this uh, i can drop the pdf for this if someone would like it down in the description just let me know Yep. So, there we go. There's the shell. And if you can notice, one of these things is not quite like the other. And that is because this one hashing board is a smaller heatsink uh, for the layout of these. So the smaller heatsink actually goes on this side and the other two go here. So you'll see why in just one second as we dig further into this uh, super cool Osprey. Before we build this, remember guys, you can actually visit ospreyelectronics.io right now and until the end of this month, you can get $150 off one of these uh, with the code MIKEL150, all caps, 150, Osprey Electronics. You can get this a little bit cheaper as well as there are some other coupon codes in their Discord. I don't know if they stack, but worth a shot, right? Stack sats, stack coupons. Let's build this. All right, so as you can see, into the tunnel we go. Currently testing out an E300 over there on a Foreman, and so far so good. It reads it, but will not read hash rates um, just via the API. So um, yeah, let's, let's slide two of these boards in real fast. So as you can see right there that is why we have two different heat sinks just in case because the view is a little there we go <clears throat> but that is why we currently are running two different size heat sinks uh, just because of uh, the size comparison now the third one actually does run the same size as the, uh, the board number one. So it's zero, one, and two. So you'll always know that FPGA two is the smaller board. So if you see that it's actually running a little bit hotter, you know it's this guy. But I've never had a problem with temps, so. Yeah. And just like that. Now that all three FPGA boards are slotted in, we can reinstall the fan and uh, go get this thing up and running in the mine. And there we go, fully assembled Osprey E300, or technically an Osprey E35. Because it is the VUP35 model.
head to the computer, get the IP, and get this thing set up. Alright, so once you have found the IP address for your E300, you just need to type in the password, which by default is password. Boom. Just like that. Information, good to go. Never, we never want to save. Freaking awesome. Now you can head over into the miner config. Now as you can see, it's by default running Team Red Miner. Um, in order to run Casper, you just literally have to copy this bit of code right here. Copy. Select all. And paste. So now you can officially mine Caspa. Now this is of course to the default settings, so I wouldn't recommend Wooly Pulley, but uh, you know, to each their own. So that we can retype in the pool address, of course, as well as your mining address. And right here is actually where you set your core settings. Now let's head over into the miner status and let's go ahead and change our voltage real fast. So as you can see there is the stock clocks on FPGA 1 and 2. The undervolt settings, I forgot to reset my memory real fast. So in order to set these you actually just come right down here to voltage control so we are going to do uh, 653 by 1000 because we do not need the memory whatsoever and we'll change it to FPGA 1 a little set and boom just like that our voltages are set and now we can move on to the next step and that's just getting up and hashing so let's let's start the miner hey guys make sure that this is enabled by a default or it's disabled by default make sure it is enabled by default otherwise the miner will not start um, after like a reboot or anything so once you do that as you can see we're starting team red miner right now and boom look at that guys up and hashing we're on stock configurations for the moment till I can finish taking some time and getting this thing fully dialed in so as you can see as it stands about 13.4 giga hashes straight out of the box freaking awesome guys so guys, if you like this type of content, and of course, if you'd like to get an E300, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, so you know when we go live and post videos. We would greatly appreciate it, as well as you can get $150 off an E300 right now, down in the description. Go to ospreyelectronics.io, and when you go to checkout, enter the code Mikkel150. That is until the end of the month, here, and we'll see y'all next time, guys. Much love, peace out, keep your hash rates up. You want to down low and stay savage. We'll see y'all next time, guys.